Welcome back to my YouTube channel, BlueTube. Well, I say welcome back, that's if you see the others. If not, well, welcome <laughs> along to my YouTube channel. Um, I'm not sure, my name's Graham Lee. I'm not sure if I tell you that or not, but it is. If you'd like to subscribe, that would be fantastic, much appreciated. And uh, on this one, we're gonna show you how to make the one balloon parrot on a swing. Now, the only thing that I do slightly different to probably others is that I do put feet on it. All right, so this is what we're going to explain. Um, uh, Pre-stretch the balloon, so that means uh, not just doing this, you hold the balloon between your finger and thumb, like so, and gently pull that up through your finger and thumb, and that will make the balloon about three or four fingers longer. All right, so you need to inflate the balloon and leave about three fingers uninflated. All right, you need a, a three finger bubble, or, and you also need um, tie the knot so that you've got a, a bit of slack here. That's quite important, I'm glad I remembered that. So you need a, uh, about a, a three finger bubble here, and a, uh, a one and a half to two finger bubble. Tie the knot around this second uh, twist, and once you tie that around, push it through the gap in the center of those bubbles. All right, and um, you still need this to tie on a bit later. Uh, squeeze the air along the balloon. So uh, we've now got about uh, just over a one finger uh, uninflated. And from there, you want to measure back about 10 fingers, four, eight, 10, so about that. And this twist will go around underneath the uh, parrot's head. All right, uh, keep hold of the end of the balloon, uh, have it on the, the perch side of the parrot. Wrap that around a couple of times. Uh, you now got to put all the bubbles together and you want a four finger twist. So measure down four fingers and twist all three balloons, all right? Just go for it, be brave. These are non-popping balloons. <laughs> Keep saying that to yourself. So there you go, about there, and uh, four finger bubble. There you go, all right? And now in this section, you need two one finger bubbles and that makes the feet. So you do uh, one there, another one there, and the second twist will go around between the body and the perch. So, uh, wrap that around, like so. Uh, the knot of the balloon, I then tie around into the feet, because it helps to hold the head, the body, and the feet all together. So get hold of that, stretch that, wrap that around. All right. Now, when you put this into position, as in this one, you can see the perch is quite um, small. But a little tip here, what you can do is just hold on to the balloon, Pull it through your hands, and that will slightly stretch it. There we go. Do it once more, and then uh, set this up. Hold at his feet. There we go. So he's looking a little bit like this. Um, the towel, I like to put a little curve in it, a kink. So just um, slightly bend it, and just give it a little there, and then that just gives it that little um, parrot, you know, and. Uh, Oh, it looks like the perch is a bit on the healthy side there, isn't it? Try and get that uh, <laughs> There you go, that's a bit better. And uh, then just draw on the face. Now get your pen. Uh, I do like a, um, an upside down V for the, uh, for the mouth. Uh, like that, there you go. Upside down V. Uh, two dots at the side for his nose. Two dots. <laughs> it's very technical this, the close-up, isn't it? And then the eyes, we have one there, and uh, one on the other side is quite good as well. And uh, let's just quickly show you those. There you go. And that's your uh, power up on a swing. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, if you could subscribe, that would be fantastic. And we'll see you at um, another tutorial somewhere. Thanks for watching, bye-bye.